Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scarecrow Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Roppin Schlepper OST. The Roppin Schlepper OST, more commonly abbreviated to RSO, was a fully tracked, lightweight vehicle used by the Warmock in World War II. It was conceived in response to the poor performance of wheeled and half-tracked vehicles in the mud and snow during the Warmock's first autumn and winter on the Soviet front. The RSO was a uh, contemporary with somewhat similar allied full-tracked small artillery tractors in use in other armies such as the Soviet STZ-5s and the US Army's M4 tractor, mostly originally from the pre-war light to medium series of Vic Vickers artillery tractors. Two variants of this vehicle were built, the basic cargo carrier and a self-propelled anti-tank vehicle armed with a Pack 40 gun. Both shared the same chassis. So a uh, very interesting vehicle and uh, one again that's is very overlooked. Uh, it's kind of an important vehicle as it was used for uh, transporting artillery pieces and um, in some cases even converted to a anti-tank type vehicle. So um, overall really interesting vehicle and uh, will make it an awesome addition to any kind of behind the front lines uh, logistical type designs you're going for or anything like that um, for any of your maps. So overall really interesting vehicle and uh, is a pretty cool build. Um, so yeah, going ahead and taking a look at it, it um, came out really good actually um, for how small of a build it is and how, you know, kind of awkward, I guess, of a vehicle. Um, it actually worked out pretty well. Um, we have obviously the front cab here. Um, you know, nothing too speci special for it, front headlights, all that stuff. And it's a fully tracked vehicle here, as you can see. Uh, again, very straightforward uh, design there. In this version here, we have the canopy over this bed, but you can leave the bed of the truck open and have various, you know, different um, gear and stuff like that put in there. Uh, but I definitely prefer the cover look. I think it just looks a whole lot better. It's kind of more iconic, I guess, for this type of vehicle. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the overview of the vehicle. Pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer. We'll be going ahead and starting off with layer number one. For layer one to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and placing down a narrow brick slab like this, followed by a narrow brick top slab coming off of it going forward like so. From this, we want to go ahead and place down two, or sorry, four light gray shulker boxes like this in a line, and we want to make sure that the top of the shulker box is sticking out to the outside. From this, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four stone buns along the side here, one, two, three, and four item frames, and one, two, three, and four stone uh, blocks of those item frames like that. After that, we're going to place down another brick slab, followed by another brick top slab, come off the slab just like that. After that's done, going ahead and going to the backs of these blocks, we're going to place down a row of four of end rods across like this, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four of stone top slabs. So one, two, three, and four stone top slabs across like that. After that, uh, we're going to go do the same thing over here to this side, so four end rods across, and then we're going to go ahead and place down four light gray shulker boxes come off those end rods. Just like we did on the other side, an air brick slab, an air brick top slab, an air brick slab, and an air brick top slab. We're going to go to the tops of these shulker boxes, place down four stone buttons, four item frames, and four stone blocks in those item frames like so to make these road wheels. And once you have that all done, here's what layer one should look like from above. Pretty straightforward stuff so far. And that right there will complete the layer. Let's move on to our next layer, layer number two. I guess going ahead and moving into our next layer, we go ahead and moving into layer number two. For layer two, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a narrow brick slab on top of these two narrow brick top slabs. And then from this, we're going to place down a stone slab going back from the slabs. To the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame, a stone block in the item frame, and a dark oak wood sign on the side of the block. And same thing over here as well item frame, stone block, and a dark oak wood sign like that. After that, uh, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab here to both sides. And we're going to go ahead and then grab our dark oak with trap doors and place down one and two, and one and two back on both sides, followed by a narrow brick slab on both ends. After that, we're going to place down a stone slab, again to both sides, item frame, stone block in the item frame, and a dark oak with sign on the side of the block. And same thing over here as well, just like that. After that, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab on top of those two top slabs. Go ahead and focus our attention now to the middle. We're going to go ahead and go to the space in between these stone top slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of stone um, blocks. We're only going to place down a quartz up sound stair block in the middle, and then a stone up sound stair to both sides, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the quartz up sound stair in the middle. From this, we're going to place down a row of three of stone blocks across, just like that. 
Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves inside walls. We're gonna place down one, two, and three. Inside walls back, one, two, and three along here. And then we wanna place down a row three of stone blocks across. We then wanna go ahead and go to the space in between the middle and the side walls here, and we're gonna go ahead and just place down a and a side wall like that in the middle to finish that off. On the very back here, we wanna go ahead and place down a and a side wall to both sides, followed by a stone upside down stair there in the middle. Coming off the two and a side walls, we're gonna place down a darker brick fence gate to both sides. And then we're going to follow it up by placing down a skeleton skull coming off the uh, stone upside down stair there in the middle. And with that done, you have layer 2 complete. As you can see, we have basically the chassis here of the vehicle set up and good to go. And uh, with that, that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number 3. Alright guys, go ahead and move on to our next layer. We move on to layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a gray concrete block on top of this quartz upside down stair, followed by a ladder coming off of it. From this, we're going to go ahead and then place down the anti wall here to both sides. And then come off these two inside walls toward the front. We're going to place down an item frame with a snowball in the item frame, like so. And uh, don't throw your snowballs at the item frames because that will break them. So, just like that. After that's done, we want to go and then place down a inside wall going back on both sides, like so. And actually, we're going to be placing down a stone block that goes back on both sides. And then to the side here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off these inside walls. And then the inside wall here along the side here are these stone blocks. From that, we're going to place down their inside wall back on both sides, and then a row of three of stone blocks across. And you can choose to go ahead and just fill the space in the middle here, and um, we don't really have much room for an interior. You could make one if you really want to, but just with the design of the vehicle, you really don't have much room to really work with. Um, but anyways, from this point, we're going to go ahead and go to the inside wall to the side here, put just down a dark wood fence key coming off of it, and opened up toward the wall on both sides. When we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood. And we're going to place down a row of five spruce wood planks across. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four uh, of the spruce wood uh, planks back. And same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. After that, uh, we're going to go then take some spruce wood trapdoors, place down rows of three of spruce wood trapdoors across the middle here, fill it in the space like so. And then on the back here, for the, basically the tailgate, we're going to place down a row of three of spruce wood trapdoors, like that. And also on the sides here of these spruce wood planks, we're going to put the trapdoors as well to create that cool uh, little effect here on the sides. And just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame, place it down on these spruce wood planks, and we're going to place down a red stained glass block in those item frames. And uh, if you are able to, we're going to place down a spruce wood sign on the spruce wood plank as well to make the tail lights if the sign uh, does not work and it boosts that in frame just go ahead and put the item frames um anyways that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number three with that we're going to go ahead and probably move into our last final layers layers four five and six and basically finish the build off so with that let's go ahead and move into our last final layers all right guys go ahead and move into our final layers we've been moving into layers four five and six for these layers to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go to the front and place down row three of white gray stained glass panes across the front here for the windshield and we then want to place down a row of three of light gray stained glass full blocks directly behind it. After that, we're going to place down a row of three of gray concrete across here, and then two light gray stained glass panes here to both sides. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull on this uh, dark oak wood fence gate, like that, to both sides, like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab our birch wood, or our stripped birch wood. We're going to place down one and two. Strip birch wood logs up one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And same thing over here, one, two, 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 and one, two. So you get this design going all the way around here for our canopy. Now also for the front here, we're going to place down a row of three of stone slabs across, like so. Stone slab in the middle, daylight detector here to both sides, and we're going to turn the daylight detectors to the nighttime mode, so that we get the uh, nice color, kind of blends in a little bit better with the vehicle. Uh, once we get to this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves birchwood slabs. We're going to place down a row of, th row of four of stripped birchwood top slabs here to both sides. And then across the top here, we're going to place down a row of five of birchwood slabs, a row of five across the middle here, and then another row of five to the side. So you get a shape that looks like that on the top there. And lastly, we're going to take dark oakwood buttons. We're going to place down one and two and three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and same thing over here. Just like that. And once you have that all complete right there, that is going to wrap up my tutorial for the Rappenschleppa OST 
um, basically artillery tractor. Hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using the design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this thing from the side of the build. Tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As always, you guys give me proper credit for your free user for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build of the bit and all that fun stuff. Um, other than that, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This will be your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.